Okay, when you log into my math lab, uh, this is your uh, main screen, uh, it's your dashboard, and it kind of gives um, just a quick overview of things. Um, on the side, you've got a lot of interesting tabs now. Some of these you don't have because you're not an instructor, um, but uh, in a typical week, you'll see uh, this calendar, which will list out uh, what, what assignments are open, and as you scroll over, they'll say, you know, the due dates, and then it'll tell you what new assignments are going to open up. And then if there's any um, major assessment, you can locate that here. You can also get it under the homework column. So if you uh, click on that, uh, it'll list out all the homework that's currently available. Uh, because the class hasn't started yet, I don't really have anything showing right here. But uh, you would have this where you find homework. Um, but I do want to show you uh, what a typical homework assignment looks like. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go through a different direction uh, so you can see uh, what the resources are for homework. Um, oops, wrong tab, then homework. Okay, so eventually you'll uh, just click on the link, and then this is what a typical assignment is going to look like for you. Now, just to kind of clarify, you'll, you're you doing this assignment after you've watched the video and after you've taken the uh, warm-up of the video quiz. Uh, then I want you to come over here and look at this. And so you just get a series of 15 questions for this first section uh, that's just based on your understanding. Now, if you need to see the textbook, uh, over this section. So if you want to get more reading, more examples, and just kind of get more information about it, you can click on that link and the textbook will pull up. Uh, it's a nice part about electronic textbooks is it'll do that. And then you can uh, read and get more information. Uh, if, like this particular question is just a definition question. Um, so there's not too much going on here. Let's see if I can find something that requires more than just a definition. Okay, so um, some of these examples will have specific videos that are related to that. So you can click on the video link and a video from the textbook will pull up and you can watch another specific example about how to do that particular problem. Uh, and if you're stuck, you can click Ask My Instructor and then I'll get an email with the screenshot of what you're doing. Uh, I want to try to find, there's a couple other homework helps that this first section uh, doesn't seem to be having because there's not a lot of calculations here. First section, there's a lot of vocab. Let's see if I can get to a different section. Uh, and typically, you want to try to get about a section done a day. Uh, if this were a normal semester course uh, you'd have about two sections a week but because we're so short with just eight weeks to complete the whole course then you want to have it everything done um, or everything should be done what normally would take two weeks will take one week um, okay so here's an example of some other options that I wanted to get to uh, so if you're reading the question and you just need to see another example or view a worked out example if you click view an example, that's what it'll do, is it will give you the same problem, the different words or different concepts or different ideas, but everything's worked out for you. So you can kind of read an example on how to do that. Uh, and the other thing that my math lab has for some of the questions is a help me solve this button. And so if you click that, uh, you can, it will give you a smaller question and sort of let you check to see if you're right or wrong. So, um, hopefully that helps. Uh, there's homeworks unlimited attempts. So it's a, how many times it takes you to get the answer right. And uh, if you have any more questions, let me know.